guys, hi guys, it's Kai back with another video. Today's video is going to be a um. <laughs> that was fake, by the way. Um, a what my kids are going for their birthdays. Plus, if you guys don't know, we're actually going on a road trip, so they're gonna receive everything on the road trip. So yeah. You know. So my seventeen-year-old daughter already knows that she's getting this. Um, cause it's a, cause it's the old one, and she wa and she wanted a new one, so I ordered her a new one, so she knows she's getting that. And then my kids are really in, in these play pads, so each of my kids are going to be getting my younger kids are, are going to be getting one of these. This one is specifically basically for my it's for my um six year old. She's turning six, and they just have tons of fun activities in it to do. And then, so then there's that. So, when it comes to workbooks, we're trying to work on educational stuff while we're driving and blah, 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 and while we're on this road trip. So, since we are going to be driving for a whole month, basically. Anyway, so we got this Brain Quest workbook for my, for my turning six-year-old. She's really into Brain Quest, and... I thought when I get her a workbook that's pretty for her age, because the workbooks that I usually get are kind of hard for my um, six-year-old. Um, so I decided to get one that is pretty easy and not that complicated for her. She's really into workbooks, by the way. So I wanted to get one that was pretty laid out for her. So it had ABCs, phonics, spelling your vocabulary, one, two, three, cards, shapes and colors, patterns, setting map, matching time and money, prim, science, fun, and games, and then, and then something else. But we have really struggled to find a, bless you, bless you, a simple workbook for my six-year-old. So I thought Brain Quest would be amazing. We've actually used it for all my kids and they love it. So even when my when my two teenagers were were in it's like so I got this Brain Quest workbook. Um which to, I mean she did kind of already see it and did do and did do some of the activities in it which is which is completely fine. Um it's stuff for their birthday, but now this is another big gift for my 17 year old. She's really into dogs. This is the Encyclopedia of Dog Breeds, and she loves dogs. So, this is, a, this is, a, this is gonna be an amazing book for her. Um, it has pictures and words and everything like that, plus tons of art pictures and everything like that. Um, if she doesn't want to read the words, she can just look, look, look at the pictures for my 17 year old. And then also if my 6 year old just wants to look at the, at the pictures because like she might not be able to read the entire thing, she can, just, she can just do that. But this is mainly for my 17 year old. Which ha and it just has tons upon tons of dots in it. So I thought she would really enjoy that book. And then... Again, for my, um, 17 year old, no, my two younger kids, they are obsessed with Ramsey Bears, and it seems like every single Ramsey Bear book I get them, um, or like any book that I get them on the topic that I, that I want them to learn, it's just like not that helpful, and they don't really understand it, my, my two younger ones. So I, decided, so I decided to get this Help Around the House book. Seems pretty amazing for their ages. Um, and it's basically about like helping out around the house, basically. Hopefully, my kids will understand more because usually it it, it just has like it has like laid out like things section by section. And it really does not like help my kids understand really. So when I saw this book, I was like, yes. So it basically tells the kids that they need to do chores and not all the parents all the time. Um. But each but each fancy book has its own objective and this is about making the house clean so i like how it's not a very long book so it's not going to be a book that takes up a lot of space either it's one of those books that they can, can easily understand um, and it has lots of pictures compared to the ones that really don't have a lot of pictures 
But this one is basically about helping around the house, kids helping around the house, that you shouldn't have a house that's dirty, all that good fun stuff. So it's basically like a, just like a helping around the house book. And then it's basically done. So I really like how this, how the rest of your bear books have, have an objective. And then this one is basically to, to do your chores and just help around the house. And so whenever, cause like whenever I give my kids a book that I want them to learn more about, it's like a thing that I want them to learn more about. It's just like, to, it, it doesn't have the correct aspects and the correct things that I would want, want my children to learn about. And they also don't, don't really get it either. So I thought this book would, would be cool. Um, Let's see if he, if, 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 if like it. And then when it comes to play pads, they've actually had these, this, these before, and they really enjoy them. Um, so I wanted to get one that they think that I thought would be really, would, would be really cool. I got this one from Dollar Tree, and I get this fancy book from Goodwill. Um, and then, the, and then this encyclopedia of dog treats I got from Goodwill, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. That was, a. Uh, Ninety-nine. Then I got the Brain Quest workbook from. Um, I forgot where I got. My, oh yeah, TJ Maxx I think for eight ninety-nine. And then the Design Your Own Dreamer book I got from. Hmm, what's, oh, what's that place called? It's gonna drive me nuts. Um, Friends and Noble. Dot com. And then we have some more workbooks, just so we can work on some more curriculum base. This is three ninety nine from Ollie's, and this is the third grade one. It has more of a better curriculum base than some of the other third grade books, third grade workbooks that we've actually done. And hopefully, this is going to be a better workbook than the other curriculums that we've done with third grade. Um, they can do a page a day for my two, for my two younger ones, even though they're not. If you guys don't know, my my seven year old is actually in a split three class, so he does three different grades he is doing first second and third grade so he is he's kind of already in this stage but my six-year-old is on kindergarten currently so So, this is, so I think this is going to, this is going to be very cool. And hopefully it's going to be good, good, good for the, for the curriculum base that we're trying to work on currently. And then I also have a first grade one, which is perfect for both of my, of my kids. Again, hopefully it's going to be in the perfect curriculum base. Cause it seems like every time I do one, it's just like the kids aren't either that interested or does not fit in our, our curriculum base. So hopefully this does not fit in our curriculum base that good. And this is going to, this is only $3.99. So pretty good bargain. And then I got this because my when my seventeen year old now was younger, we actually got this from her. Um, fr we actually got, got this and she loved it. So this is the first grade math workbook. So I thought this this could be cool to pass on to my um, six year old so so that she can do some more math. Um, you know that. Um, so yeah. And it always seems like once I get a math first grade workbook for, for the kids, they don't really understand it or it's too hard for our um, our, our knowledge with that uh, course that we're doing. So hopefully that, that one's going to be a little bit easier. And then I also picked up this one for my, for my six-year-old. It's the My Perfectly Purse Sticker and Journaling Purse. She's really into stuff like this. And since we're going to be on the road for a month, I thought this, just, just getting her... A sticker drawing book isn't going to be that bad. She's really into stickers and drawing and like fun stuff. And she's actually had a book like this before. Um, I I like that 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 has a handle so that she can carry it with her. Um, my my six year old and it still has some stickers left in it. She actually got got hold of it and already did some stickers 
um, already. Um, but besides that, she can color it, she can do whatever she would like, she can scribble in it, whatever. And I like how, how it has a handle compared to, to some of the other ones. So hopefully she's going to really enjoy this. Um, she's really into stickers, and she's really into doodling, and she actually wanted to be like her, her, her 17-year-old sister.